Next question. It's not directly related to the immediately to Christianity, although because it is referring to a hadith. Although I do see here, and it's not actually referenced, but perhaps Jung Yu Sub, you can um, talk this particular one through. It relates to a prophecy that when the Dajjal comes, the Antichrist, as is sometimes referred to, the Dajjal will be accompanied by 70,000 Jews. The question is, what is the meaning of this? And then the sub question is, is this Hadith authentic? We have spoken about the Dajjal on several occasions, but just to remind those who might not have seen those programs, the Dajjal is usually called the Antichrist. That's the kind of a Christian equivalent of, mm -hmm. of Dajjal. Dajjal itself is, uh, means the arch deceiver. And uh, without going into all the details, it means uh, a system both uh, with a, a kind of um, a religious background to it, mm -hmm. but it's mostly a political and economic system which will rule the world. This was the prophecy. And it would, it would thoroughly rule, rule the world in the sense that no nation on earth would be bereft of its uh, influence and all would have to bow down to it or face the consequences thereof. And uh, so the Dajjal is what we're seeing now, unfortunately. We're in the latter days now. And what we find is there is an, a, a, a material uh, uh, a philosophy of atheism, really, which is uh, making people run off the, the goods of this world, you know, the, the good things of, of, of this life, uh, at any cost. So it's at the cost of their morality, at the cost of their spirituality, of their happiness, at the cost of uh, peace for uh, different nations. Everything is being done out of greed and selfishness, and, uh, but it's a deception. Mm -hmm. It's been called the arch deception because people will, will be fooled into believing that this is the life that they're supposed to be pursuing. This is the real way to happiness. Whereas it's destroying the peace at every level, whether on the individual level, or the family level, or the societal level, or the international level, mm -hmm. peace has been destroyed and is being destroyed. And unfortunately, things are now coming to a head. And we have spoken about this as well. But there are now you know, rumors of wars and, and, uh, mm -hmm. and very deep uh, economic recession and crises uh, on the horizon now. Um, but the prophecy also spoke of 70,000 Jews who would be accompanying this uh, deceiving system. Now, of course, it, it doesn't say all the Jews. It says 70,000. Now, in Arabic, uh, the, the, the figure seven means a, an infinite number or a very large number. Also, the figure th 1,000 means a very large number. So 70,000 would be a very, very large number indeed of Jews but by no means all of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do see is that the economic and pol uh, political uh, systems, which are more or less based on capitalism, which, are, which is now ruling the world, we see to a large degree it is being run by people who say they're Jews, although many devout Jews would themselves you know, uh, renounce them and say that they're materialistic people, they're atheistic people. They have a Jewish background, no doubt, but they aren't really following the Jewish religion. And I would tend to agree with them that they aren't following the Jewish religion. Otherwise, they would not be able to do the things which they are doing today. Mm -hmm. um, so in, the, in effect, this uh, prophecy has already come to pass when we see that many governments of the world you know, are, are implementing this system, are exploiting uh, uh, poorer nations, we see that there are many people who, who belong you know, to, to the Jewish faith nominally, no doubt, but who have that affiliation with the, uh, the Jewish faith in some way. So this is what the Holy Prophet ﷺ said. The reason was so that people could recognize it. The reason was also so that the Jews themselves could recognize it and that they could see where their own people are taking them to and, that, and what the disastrous consequences of that would be so that they could not let it happen. Unfortunately, it is happening, but there is always time, as long as there's life, there's hope, as, uh, as, as I said. Indeed, very true. Jazakum Allah, Jahangir Sahib.